Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2021. We're on episode number six. Ann Lowell has come through with her first win. She's also had a couple deep runs that have paid off relatively well. Finances look fairly secure here in late March, but it's going to be a full year before we're likely to see enough money to make an upgrade to the facilities to bring in additional athletes to the squad. So for now, one thing I'd like to do is see if we can improve our uh, revenue share with Ann Lowell. Of course, I have really, really good contract negotiation skill. We'll see if we can get a better number out of her, in which case then we can, well, see a little more uh, money. So with her academy contract, you can see right now we're on a 21% share and it expires this year. So we definitely want to take care of that. She's a promising player. You can see we've already got quite a few. So we're at 80%. That's good. I think it's time to go ahead and offer a new contract, see what happens. Uh, she certainly wants to move up, get higher. That's fine. I uh, like keeping her as a promising player. That sounds good. I think we're going to have to save our negotiation power for now uh, for in the share. Let's just go ahead and add one year for now. I'm fine with keeping a signing bonus. 21%. No way. The whole point of coming in here is getting more. Uh, how much more can we manage, though, with our skill? I don't know. Uh, let's try 38. Let's see what happens. Unacceptable. Hopefully, we can come into an agreement soon. This is her counter offer. So she brought the signing bonus down a little bit, and she only, she only upped by a single percentage and lost a ton of patience. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, let's bring it down quite a bit, though. She doesn't have much more patience. Try 27%. Okay, she accepted. She accepted. Answer within a week. That's not a big boost, but it is a boost. 4% more is 4% more. However, that 20000 that's that's going to cost us a little bit, so it's going to take a dent, uh, but ultimately it'll help us bring in a bit more. All right, we are into the Miami Open round of 128. And we've got a tight match of against a very, very similar ranked opponent. Though moments ago we were 58th, so I'm not sure how we're only 71st here. But okay, we are where we are. Uh, next round looks pretty challenging as well. So uh, this could be a tough one. There's a lot of money here. All right, so we open with a major, major disadvantage against her opponent in terms of morale. Uh, so Anne just not prepared for this, and she makes an error immediately and gives away the first point. Oh, just keeps that one in. Monica Pig with a massive advantage at uh, being thrilled. She's excited to be here. But we're not putting the opponent under much stress. I mean, that was the first ball she's hit with much angst at all. She's not working her side to side very well. And then unforced error in the end after a long rally. Oh, that was counted in. That ace sure looked like it was out. And the opening game, straight points. We did not score a single point, but game two with service. We level it up, and quite comfortably. She only scored once, and is stressed now. So we get a single game win, and now both players are stressed, which means that levels that playing field. And with the level playing field, we win two straight. Look like we could be on our way to making that three straight, but it's still close, tight contest this time. And we do three, one, edge. Just 13 minutes in, so this is going pretty quickly so far. Not too many long uh, rallies between the two of them. Uh, our opponent gets one game win, and she's right back to being thrilled. And then we win, and she's somewhere between enthusiastic and thrilled. It's it's a weird, very optimistic opponent. Meanwhile, we've stayed stressed throughout, but I'm, I would imagine if we claim the set, that would uh, change things pretty quickly. It's 30-30. Holy cow, they went on a long time there, but Monica, in the end, claims that one. 
And then claims the next as well, and it's 4-4. Boy, we went from looking poised to win the opening set to now it's really anybody's. Especially with our opponent getting so excited so easily. It's 4-5. We've got to get this one at 40-15. It looks good. It is. 6-6. Six, six. Monica attacking the net. That's the first time we've really seen that. We're in the tiebreaker. And we trail. 4-0. Oh, that was a double fault on the last one. Oh, nice one, though. That was the first winner we've seen from Ann. Very unforced. That was a bad hit. That was my kind of hit. Missed by a mile. 5-1. Oh, my goodness. We are in trouble. Set point. Oh, come on. What terrible play. And horrible, horrible tiebreaker that time and loses. That was three straight missed serves before she finally gets it in play. Not a good start to the second set as well. Let's go ahead and speed things back up. We trail. Obviously, we have to win this set now to stay alive in the tournament. It's only the first freaking round. We do win the opening game. That was really important. With serve after losing the opening set to get that. And we're pushing it to the limits, though. It looks like we're going to maybe lose this one. Deuce. Advantage. That was the start. We had to have, and we've managed to do it. So, uh, second set looking much better at the moment. Three games to zero. After such a tight, tight, tight contest in that opening set, uh, things are looking pretty dang good in set number two. But after winning one game, she's all of a sudden bouncing back, and this was the point where things fell apart for us last time when we had four. It was 4-2 where we started, not 4-0, but... It's all of a sudden right back to where we had been in that previous one of 4-2. Back to deuce. Advantage again. There it is. 5-2. Okay. Come on. Driver's seat. Take it home. Game and set. Not match, though, because we lost the opening set. So we're going to go to the third and final set to decide this one. And look at that. Still stressed. Opponent still enthusiastic. That was the problem early on. The morale. Not sure why Anne has remained so stressed throughout this one, why she's not dealing with this. But she wins the opening two games. Really in the driver's seat. Early in that third game, you could really notice that she's now in control. Fatigue levels are the same for both. She does lose game four there, but again, like I said, she's found the weakness. She's exploiting it. Now leads four games to one, five games to one. Oh, drops that one. Had a chance to put it away. Had a match point. Looks like we'll get another chance here. 40-15. Match point. There it is. Game, set, match. And we survive. First round scare. Second matchup against the 24th ranked in the world opponent. One of the ranked opponents for the tournament. Uh, first round bye. We're, we're going to be at a serious disadvantage against this opponent. Odds are definitely against us, but we'll see. We've, we've beaten some top opponents before. After leading 30-15 to be down now without scoring any more points and just seeing our opponent in action, the way she attacked the net, the way she pressured us, forced us into mistakes, clear reason why uh, we're almost certainly going to go down in this one. Let's go ahead and really, really speed things along. 5-3, 5-4. Five, 5-5. Five, five. 
Speed it up just a little bit here in the early points on this one, but we have a chance to steal the set. Though it looks like we're going to go to a tiebreaker. We do, 6-6. Six, six. Each with a point early on. 3-1, three, 3-2, 3-3, 3-4. Wow, quick. Bang, bang, bang. She nailed us three times in a row very quickly there. 3-5. Wish she came out the body on that one. I thought we were going to really struggle to get that out of there. We didn't. That was good. Good return play on that one. Oh, yes. 5-5. Five, five. Net. 6-5. Set point. Ace. Ace! Got the opening set. Hell yeah. Even if we don't win the match, that was beautiful. We got a set at least. 1-1. One, 4-4. One. Four, four. Came back from uh, disadvantage there. Got the game. 6 all. Here we go again. Early points. We'll get those out of the way. We'll watch the last few. We had a chance to steal the match right here in this. Two straight games going to tiebreakers. But she looks to be really in control. We have served this time, but her opponent taking the early points. 2-4. We're fighting back. 3-4. Three, 3-5. Four. Three, we are definitely in trouble at the moment. So hard to come from behind on a strong opponent. Ugh. Weak ball. That was very unforced. That wasn't a hard one. 3-6. Oh, in the net. Her own unforced error. Oh, close. 4-6. Oh, again in the net. 5-6. She hits the net a lot, I've noticed. Long. Really good second serve, considering she was playing to avoid the double fault. Oh, I thought that was going to drop. I was really surprised she reached that one. She dug low. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 7-6. We got aced. We got the serve back now, though. Hanging in there, but our opponent definitely using her her uh, strength advantage, her power. Really playing us into a, a difficult position, but we have good physical attributes. We've seen that development in Anne. She's not great technically, but she can really move across the court, and that's it. Ah, so close. What a tight, tight match here in the third and deciding set. Great, great ace there to get deuce. There's another. Couldn't get the return. That was in. Advantage. Match point. Opponent got us on our heels, though, but oh, nice return there. Played it to the corner, working her side to side. And she goes just wide, and that's game, set, match. Wow, we survive. We got out of that one. Beautiful work there. Uh, number two. Number two in the world for the next round, round of 32. Uh, let's just use the quick sim. I, I don't want to see this ugliness. I do not want to see the ugliness. We'll be out this round. One six one three, Sophia moves on. She had eight aces, no double faults. We had four double faults, no aces. It was very much in hand for her. Uh, major disadvantage. We're not on that level, but still, really good to get into that third round. Great payday though here. March turns out to be a month of nearly ten thousand in profit, and we didn't end up actually spending anything on re-signing. Lol, so uh, we'll, we'll see if we get another opportunity on that or not. But for now, we just move forward. Uh, you can see we've already picked up a few points of physical reflexes now to 16. That's, that's good. That's strong. Now into April, and we've got a smaller tournament this time around. We go unranked, but we've definitely moved up our position uh, in those overall rankings. Facing a difficult second round matchup, but it looks like we are favorable for this first one. But the ranking is very similar to where we were just a couple of weeks ago. So I wouldn't put too much stock into what our overall ranking is right now. We're looking at a challenging match, a match that we very well could win, though. All right, we're going to take this 
first round matchup very quickly, win or lose. We'll get a small payday or we'll face a larger payday. We win the opening couple of games, but then it goes level and actually we lose three straight there before finally bouncing back and taking three straight ourselves. So very, very streaky among the two, but we go 6-4 in the opening set. Second set, finally uh, looking a lot more evenly balanced, but now three straight for the opponent has us reeling on our heels. And then here we are fighting back. 5-5. Five, five. Advantage twice. Finally get it. 7-5. There you go. Tight contest, but that's it for the first round. Right now we're finding ourselves in these bigger tournaments that are seeing us up against top tennis players again and again. And that's a little problematic for getting as deep as we want to get into to some of these tournaments because we're going up against such quality opposition, but that's fine. It is what it is. We at least got out of that first round. That's all I can expect for this one. Here is round number two. Petra Merch, who's absolutely crushing us, winning the first five games. We avoid the skunk, but it was a very quick 6-1 set to the opposition, and it looks like we're going to head home early. Or hit the showers early anyway. It's only been half an hour. Made it work for that game, but it's still a loss. Now trailing 4-0. 5-0. Ugh. We only win a single game in the match. That, that sucked. <laughs> Next up, Laguna Open in Switzerland. And we enter this one as actually one of the better tennis players here. So Anne Lowell, a bit of a better shot. She's the sixth seed. We already got a first round bye, so we go straight into the round of 32 against, well, the lowest opposition that we've played in quite a while. We're going to go ahead and just simulate this one, as we should be winning comfortably. It wasn't so comfortable, but it was still a win in the end. Ooh, I like our path into the, uh, what, the semifinals? I like our path to the semifinals. We got a real shot. <laughs> and then the weak opponent. The weak opponent knocks us out. Okie dokie. Well, that happens. You're not going to win them all. Knocked out in the round of 16 when we really should have been playing in at least the semifinal for that one. But even with our poor tournament record this month through two tournaments, we're still not losing that much money, and that's that's big. We're going to quickly make our way through one more tournament here. We're in Stuttgart. It's a decent sized tournament and there's definitely some quality here we we enter unranked Angelique Keber who's slightly higher than us in ranking in this opening round and then if we win we got to go up against Serena Williams who had a bye and the four seed for the tournament that's a real threat I don't expect that we're going to get very far and we're going to wrap up this episode real quick with a couple simulations I think and that would be it and that's actually it. We can't get past Keber. We do win the opening set, but she wins set number two. And that's going to do it for just a quick week for us. That's also going to wrap up this episode. It looks like we come out almost breaking even for the month. Uh, three poor tournament showings is okay. Because the occasional really good tournament makes for a mighty fine profit. And we're slowly going to make the money we need to eventually build up the facilities and have two more slots so that we can have three athletes on the team. That's that's what we gain from that upgrade. And with three athletes, we can make a whole lot more money because there's no additional expenses for those two more athletes. It's revenue share. They get their winnings. So we're not paying them anything. They get We get a share of the revenue by training them. So that's good for us. We just need 150000 to get there. It's possible we'll get it before the end of the year. Or when we hit the end of the year, we'll get that from the board. Sounds like we'll get 200000 We'll easily have some money left. And then that will that will be that. We'll get it early next season. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.